Hi everyone and welcome to my second YouTube video. In this video I am going to start off my how to draw a face series with eyes. I've gotten a lot of requests for how to draw eyes so I thought I would show you guys today. So if you want to learn how I draw eyes just keep watching. So I started with a skull and I then placed two circles right where the eyes should be. The circles are very important because they help you decide where you want the eyes to be placed. If you want them closer together, you can place them closer together. If you want them more far apart, you can place them further apart. So another reason why I start with a circle is to remind myself that in that eyelid is an eyeball and that the eyelid needs to wrap around the eyeball. So I'm drawing an eyeball here to remind myself that the eyelid should wrap around and not go straight across. You will see that in a demonstration I do coming up. So eyelids tend to go in a curved motion around the eyeball. I go up from the inner corner just a little bit and then curve a slightly downward. And then that bottom lid is going to connect to that top lid, but I don't always go towards the complete end so there's a little bit of room for lashes but this will also depend on the shape of the eye you were going for so the next thing I'm going to talk about is that that circle shape that you're making you can apply it to any kind of eye you want to make so if you wanted to make rounder eyes you can use it for that if you wanted to make a more angular eye you could use it for that as long as you have that basis circle shape you can create any eye that you want. So as long as you know the basis of how the eye works and where it should be placed on the face, which I will talk about more in my, in further into the series. The next thing I want to touch on is eyelashes. Now in my style, I tend to only do like three, maybe four tops and then a couple on the bottom. It just depends on the kind of style that you want to go for, but it's totally up to you. You can customize it however you want, play with the length and the way you want them to be situated on the eye. I tend to go towards the end with just a couple since my style is more simplistic but you can do whatever you want. So right here I am demonstrating that you can draw an eye without starting off with that circle. I just tend to always start with that circle so I, my brain can remember that the eyelid needs to wrap around something and not just go straight across like the little demonstration I have above that. So the next thing I'm going to demonstrate is me drawing the eyes at different angles that the face would be in. The first one is a three-quarter view. With a three-quarter view eye, you want to have it kind of smushed since it's at an angle. And I think I end up drawing it to the left. And once you have that decision of where you want, what angle you are gonna face the face, it just depends on how much the eye is going to be smushed. So what you have to remember with a three-quarter eye is that the other eye is going to be more rounded than the eye facing towards you. So the eye facing towards you is a lot more angular and a lot shorter. Same with the opposite eye. Usually the nose is blocking part of that opposite eye when it's faced at an angle like that. So your eyes are going to be a little bit shorter than they would be facing towards you.
also I decided to put a front facing eye right next to the angled eye so you can see the difference between the two. So I'm starting out with a circle and now we are working with the profile eye. So if you were looking to the side. Something you want to remember about a profile eye is that it'll be bulging out of the eyelids a little bit, just a small amount. If it's too flat in the eye, it'll look weird. So you just want a little bit of protrusion from the eyelid. And when you're adding the iris, you want it towards the front of the eyeball. You won't put it in the middle. You will put it near the front and slightly smaller than you would if it was front facing or a three quarter eye. And the pupil will go right at the end of that. Now I am starting the eyelids. Um, it's gonna kind of make a V shape, but at the end when the you hit the outer corner, um, it'll slant sort of upward or downward just depending on the kind of eye you are drawing. And you have to remember again that the eye is round. I feel like I've had to say that a lot. Um, and it wraps around that eyeball. You want something to encase that eyeball in your head. <laughs> so the next thing I'm adding is the eyelid. It goes right up from that eyeball and goes downward. So now I'm talking about the eyelashes. The eyelashes on the profile eye are very important. I mean, just as important as the front facing eye. But you want to remember that eyelashes go in a curved motion instead of a, of a straight out motion. Um, in the demonstration here, you can see me adding the straight up eyelashes on that eye like you did when you were a kid. But eyelashes are more of like a, a slight C shape and you can kind of have them pointing down, pointing up. The more you the more variation you add between the eyelashes, the more realistic it'll look. I think I tend to add a little bit more lashes on my profile eyes than I do on my front facing or three quarter view eyes. So now I'm doing a few demonstrations of how I draw eyes in different shapes and sizes with the techniques I've shown you guys. disclaimer I'm in no way an expert at drawing eyes or at any kind of anatomy I just wanted to share my tips with you guys and I really hope this helps apologize for my head getting in the way a lot in this clip. Um, I was really trying to um, focus and when that happens my head tends to get in the view of the camera. <laughs> I'll try to remember to be better about that next time. <laughs> So for references, I looked up a bunch of pictures on Google Images or Pinterest. All I typed in was eyes and a bunch of different types of eyes came up and different angles, different sizes, different shapes. Um, I highly recommend using references, especially if you want to learn something. And the more you practice it, the quicker and the faster and the easier it'll be to draw eyes. Eyes are probably one of my favorite things to draw. I feel like they really add some personality to your characters. So really experiment, really try different methods of to drawing eyes and feel free to share them with me. Um, you can always DM me on Instagram and I will try to answer you guys. Um, I would love to see your progress.
also something I tend to do with my eyes and as you can see in these little pictures is you can really experiment with how you draw the lids. So on the top lid, if I do it more rounded, I'll do a more angled bottom lid. Or you can do two round lids. So in that top left eye, it's very round. I did a circular top lid and a circular bottom lid. It makes the eyes a lot more doll-like and more round, but you can also do more angled eyes by adding an angled bottom lid and an angled top lid, but you can totally mix them together to create really unique eye shapes. So something I didn't really demonstrate or talk about is male eyes. For male eyes, personally, I like don't add as many eyelashes just to make them look not as feminine because usually in cartoons or in movies you see girls with really long eyelashes and guys don't tend to have them as many. That's just something that they choose to add and that's something that I apply in my art. Of course you can have a guy with eyelashes, there's no rules. You can customize it the way you want. And also, guys tend to have more angular eyes, kind of like a rectangle shape. You can still use that circle that I showed you in the beginning. It's basically the same thing, just don't add as many eyelashes maybe or just experiment until you find eyes that really work for your male characters. So that concludes my eye tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments below and I will try to answer you. And also be sure to show me your progress. DM me on Instagram. I will leave the link in the description bar and also the products I used in the description bar below. Thank you guys for watching. Give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye!